And now it's time for a brief musical platforming interlude. And that was certainly a wonderful way to start our latest update of Messiah. Hey everybody, I'm still Negra. And fuck platforming. Especially that platforming, because I can't even begin to tell you how many fucking times that particular area took me to get down correctly. But with that, we are actually done with the um, with platforming for a little bit. For right now, we're going to head up to the loading docks and... Well, I think it's time to make our way out of this, uh, barrel factory. I don't know what the fuck is going on. It's some type of canister distributing thing. I don't know. <laughs> but what we need to do is hop into this commander here. Oh. And with her under our control, we're going to be able to operate this panel nearby. And what does that panel do, you may ask? Well, we're going to find out right now. Uh, it gets a truck ready, I guess. And thankfully the gun commander is also very apt at operating vehicle, so let's go ahead and get this bitch started and get the fuck out of here. And with that daring escape, we are now in the red light district. With a little prayer, we're going to talk to Satan, and he's, well, he's going to point out that we are in the red light district. And it's going to be all types of sexy fun and puzzle solving and not hideous ugliness. But let's go ahead and make our way through the streets. We can already see some nice tits, I guess. And some actual new character models. How about that? Whoa, what the hell are you? 
I'm gonna get inside you. Yep, these are city dwellers. And what the hell are you doing to that poor woman? And the cops are assholes. But yeah, since we are, I guess, in the middle class living area, everybody looks a bit different. I think my boyfriend's gay. Oh, gay joke. <laughs> Uh, yeah, every every woman in this game has horrendously shaped large breasts, and every cop is an asshole. It's a, it's a utopia. <laughs> Thankfully, when they say silent kill, they do not embellish on that. Either that or these cops are just really deaf, because... I don't know, I'm pretty sure they'd be able to hear each other. But with those guys out of the way, we can now safely hop out of this... Maybe she wasn't just a normal woman, but we'll be finding out more about those ladies later. For right now though, we do have to do a little bit of platforming, not as much as we had to do in that first bit of the video. But that's not to say it isn't dangerous, as you can assume these yellow wavy lines will hurt us, and that's obviously bad. And we just have to use our brains here, do a little baby wiggle, 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 wiggle and make our way under these grinding gears. It's not too difficult unless you've forgotten the fact that Bob can do that. And I would point out how much health I lost from that, but for some reason the HUD seems to mess up at this point in the game. I don't think it's permanent, but it's also not that helpful. That's not to say the uh, the game is going to get any easier on us at this point. In fact, it's going to get much harder, especially in the ways of combat. I like this one. So we can pay. Thing is, I'm almost wanting that guy's body in the worst way. But that's only because he has grenades, and well, we're going to need grenades in a second, so I'm going to get rid of some of these guys and maybe get his body destroyed so I can hop into this mofo. And hey, I got uh, two people murdered, and I have some grenades, so that's pretty sweet. Also, how about, uh, how about this den of sin, eh? Certainly uh, a hotbed of evil, I guess, and sex. I haven't actually seen too much sex. Hmm. There's a cow. Oh. 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 Okay. But, uh, yeah, not safe for work. How about that? And what we have up here is the housing slash quarantine zone. We're actually going to need to get in there, but those guys aren't going to let us by, so I'm just going to use my special key. And obviously blow them all to hell. That can actually be fairly dangerous because I think there's like two riot of cops in there and they are just a massive hassle to try to shoot to death. Thankfully though that actually went uh, pretty smoothly. I mean I'm you know mass scale slaughter and everything. And oh yeah boobies. No. Ho? Is that Greek? Or something? I don't know. But let's go ahead and uh, explore a little bit more upstairs. We don't want to head into the club KYD yet because we can't. Because it's pretty much blocked off to us. Instead, we are going to want to ditch this cop body in kind of a safe way. Which means, uh, well, it gives us an excuse to murder more people. <laughs> I'm doing this to make things safe for me. Also, we get some more new character models. Awkward character models, indeed. Yeah, if you can, uh, if you can guess, these women are uh, they're professionals. I'll say that much. Oh yeah, I have my fist out. He feels threatened. But I'll leave him do his masturbation, and finally... Hey, calm 
you later on. Yep, plaid pants, um, tube tops, chain wallets. It's so futuristic. <coughs> but yeah, what we do need to just, you know, ditch the cop body and get into a city dweller because we are one with the people. Just one more trick. Uh, that's sad. But yeah, let's go ahead and head back down to the quarantine slash housing zone. And we can actually go around there safely now. I made the mistake uh, with a number of my test playthroughs of this. Actually trying to go through there as a cop and, well, cops are not the most well-liked people in the housing slash quarantine district, so we, uh, we should now be safe. Also, I'm not sure if this is meant to be one of those secret loading screens, but for some reason this decontamination airlock just takes way, 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 way too long. Hooray, I can proceed. And what's waiting for us on the other side? Well... If you may remember that one female looking thing that got shot earlier on, well, here's a better look at them. In all their awkward metal sexuality. And they do a shit ton of damage. And they have unlimited ammo and they have a reasonable amount of health, which is why trying to go through there in a fighting sense is pretty much suicide. But we pretty much want to go through that door down there on the right, but first let's go look at some interesting random tidbits up here. There's actually no need specifically to go up here, but there are just a few random awkward interesting things up here, such as this big room of explosive boxes. Alright. Obviously a different prostitute model, that's always good So, Pimp Daddy with his army of prostitute bots. Wait, what the hell? Is that Mad Max? Holy shit. Oh. Yeah, for some reason, this TV has multiple channels. But, uh, but yeah, um, those robot women are apparently an army used by the Pimp Daddy uh, to protect... Prostitutes, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Other than to have gun wielding robot tit ladies. Which, uh. I'm sure somebody, uh, somebody out there wanks off to that, so. Either way, let's go ahead and just keep on going and not worry about that. For the next part, we need to do some wonderful elevator waiting. That's always. Super fun. We actually need to head down to the bottom floor there. Hopefully this elevator will... Hey. God damn it. Alright. I guess I have to cripple another man. Oh god, this hurts! I'm sorry. The elevator doesn't have controls. But yeah, we need to pull this lever here. And it will start the... I don't know why, it constantly makes me think of a phallus, but yeah, there's the large piston in the center and the top of it. We're gonna be have we're gonna have to ride upwards to the final floor. But hey look, another prostitute body. We can never get inside too many prostitutes, right guys? Yeah. Hello. Oh man. But yeah, now that we're on the wow, that is an awesome walk. Yeah, now that we're on the top floor, we can just try our best not to get ourselves murdered because those uh, prostitute bots will pretty much open fire on Bob for some reason, so 
We do need to be careful because waiting up top here is another two of them. Well, there's one in front of us and there's one behind us. And we actually need to be rather careful here because we do have to hop into one of those rats scurrying around and well as you can imagine it's real it's rather easy to get shot at while you're trying to hop into a rat body so what you want to normally do is try to take out at least one of these uh, I think they're called sub girls yeah sub girl and uh, you want to take one of them out but you do want to keep that one behind the grating alive well, we'll see why in just a second, but now it's just time to hop into a rat body. That should be pretty easy. Uh, where's a the rat? There's a rat. Hey. Ow. Okay. Yeah, this is, uh, it's easy. Super easy. Jump, jump, jump. Come on. Oh. There we go. I am king of the rat, people. And we just have to make a very quick scurry through this ventilation shaft. I don't think these fans will actually hurt you, but I think it would be pretty difficult to dodge them either way. And after that squit quick scurrying expedition, we can now safely jump up into this woman's butthole. As soon as we find a good place to jump out. Come on. There we go. Hooray! Puzzle solved! And what is our reward for all of that? Well, um, yeah, we get access to. I got access. I guess this. Yeah, yeah, this is Pimp Daddy's house. There he is. He's a VIP son to me. Now, there are a couple of different ways you can do this. You can actually just go over here to a safe and get his pass card. Hey, 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 stay away from there. And while that's all fine and dandy, it's actually a little bit easier just to hop into his body. My old lady gotta be running cold upside As down. disturbing as that sounds. Yep, this reject from the fifth element actually gives us a shortcut back to where we need to go. Private lift activated for Pimp Daddy. And that just saved us a lot of unnecessary walking. And that actually puts us right where we need to go. Normally, uh, if you come down here earlier on, this large behemoth gentleman won't let you pass because you're not a VIP, but since we are a <laughs> ripoff from Dr. Seuss, I assume we can now get to where we need to go, which is the Hip Hop Happening Club KYD. But hopefully you'll join me next time as we head into the club and get our groove on.